Hello everyone! Welcome to another video on practice test for civil service exam. For today, we will cover math. Gagabayan ko kayo sa pagsagot ng mga math problems. Nakuha ko ito from an online mock test and part 3 na ito ng ating videos covering that mock test. Isa-isahin nating sagutan ang mga questions. But before anything else, don't forget to like and subscribe. For our first problem, the sum of the ages of two children is 16 years. Four years ago, the age of the older child was three times the age of the younger child. Find the present age of each child. A. 5 and 11 B. 6 and 10 C. 4 and 12 D. 7 and 9 As you can see, this is another age problem, which is very common in the civil service exam. To solve this, we have to assign values. As stated sa problem, the age of the younger child, we will assign this as X and the age of the older child as Y. Na mention din sa problem that the sum of their ages is 16 years old. So our equation would be X plus Y equals 16. And that our Y is 3 X. Dahil na mention sa problem na si older child is 3 times ng age ng younger child. It is important na lahat ng mga given sa problem ay makonsider. So our equation would be x plus 3x is equal to 16 minus 8. So bakit 8? Kasi na mention sa problem na 4 years ago and this is for sa dalawang boys na. So, di ba, four years ago, yung age ni older child was three times the age of the younger child. So, it is important na i-consider natin yung given na four years ago. So, then, our equation would then be for x is equal to 8. Then, we have to get the x. So, our x would then be x is equal to 2. So, with this, nalaman na natin na x is equal to 2. So, makukonclude na natin na ito na yung age ng younger child. So, then 3x for the older child, that would be 3 times 2 is 6. But, we also have to remember na this age both these ages are their ages four years ago. So, we have to consider this. So, yung magiging age natin na ang hinahanap kasi is present age. So, we can conclude na yung age now ng dalawang bata would be yung younger is 2 plus 4 which is 6 and then yung older child would be 6 plus 4 which is 10 so yung sagot natin for this question is their ages are 6 and 10 which is letter B, 6 and 10. For our next problem, we have a number analogy. If 5 is for 24 and 6 is for what? A, 33, B, 21, C, 35, D, 23. Sa mga classing problems na ganito, we have to establish talaga relationship. So, how do we answer this kind of problems? First, we have to, of course, I determine the relationship between these given numbers. So, here, 
parang magiging trial and error yung atake natin. So, determine muna natin is 24 a multiple of 5? The answer is no. Ang, for, ang 24 ay hindi multiple ng 5. So, this is not their relationship. Then, we have to yung mga base we have to try basic na mga operation so this case 24 minus 5 that would be 19 so since trial and error naman siya isa-isahin na natin yung mga given so we have here 33 minus 6 is 27 then 21 minus 6 is 15 then 35 minus 6 is 29 and then 23 minus 6 is 17. Based sa result ng ating trial and error, makikita talaga natin dito yung iba't ibang relationship kung meron man ng each item with our given. So as you can see, 29 here has the closest relationship to 19. Therefore, we can now conclude na yung answer natin would be if 5 is to 24, then 6 is for 35. And that would be letter C, 35. For our third problem, we have here, what is the sum of all the numbers from 1 to 10? A, 54, B, 55, C, 56, D, 57. Kung titinang mo ito, Parang magiging madali lang talaga if imano-mano natin siya. But sometimes, hindi ganito kasimple yung magiging problem. Sometimes, bibigyan tayo ng problems na what is the sum of all numbers from 1 to 100. So this time, we have to remember the formula na lang para whatever number naman yung given, ma-answer talaga natin siya. So again, yung problem naman natin is what is the sum of all numbers from 1 to 10? So this is just from 1 to 10. So yung magiging formula natin would be sum is equal to n times n plus 1 over 2. So madali lang tandaan yung ating formula. So n would be the number count which is 10, kasi 1 to 10 siya. So, there are 10 numbers from 1 to 10. So, formula would then be 10 times 10 plus 1 over 2. So, that would be 10 times 11 over 2. And that would be 110 over 2, which is 55. For our fourth problem, we have 60 is what percent of 120? A, 200%, B, 100%, C, 250%, D, 50%. So this one is a very basic percent problems. I will put the link in the description box below for our videos on the basic operations of percent. So for this case naman, sasagutan na natin ito. Whenever nakaka-encounter tayo ng problems na yung pagka-state is blank is what percent of blank or a number is what percent of a number, yung magiging operation talaga natin would be division or yung tinatawag natin na divide. So in this case, yung magiging equation natin would be 60 divided by 120 or 60 over 120. So, paano ba ito din divide? So, here. So, we have your 60 divided by 120. So, basic operation lang. Since, hindi naman, mas maliit naman yung, yung 60 kaysa 120. So, 0 muna. Then, bring down the 60 and the 0 and 600 divided by 120 is 5. 
So, yung sagot natin dito would be 0.5. Kaso, hindi naman 0.5 pa yung final answer since we have to convert this to percent because this is not yet in percent form. So, 0.5, i-convert natin, which is a decimal, i-convert natin siya into a percent. And for this case, we have 0 0.5 times 100 which is 50 100 and the an na ang percent meaning per 100 and to convert a decimal to a percent we just have to multiply it by 100 or may ibang way din tayo simpler way na hindi na natin kailangan ng operations so this is just by moving the decimal places to places to the right. So, yung, fifth, yung 0 0.5 natin magiging 50 na siya. So, our answer again is 50% which is letter D. The fifth problem, we have to simplify this equation. Simplify meaning sasagutan yung equation or hahanapin yung hinahanap na equation. So, we have your 2 raised to the power of 2 minus negative 2 raised to the power of 2 then raised to the power of 0. So, letter A, 8, B, 4, C, 2, D, 1. So, sa mga ganitong equation, medyo intimidating talaga. So, ganitong mga problems talaga are meant to be very tricky and very intimidating. Pero, tandaan natin na whenever nakaka-encounter tayo ng mga problems na ito, we should not be intimidated kasi these problems are just meant to confuse us. So, para mas maintindihan natin ang equation, isimple, parang in, siya, is, state natin siya in a simpler way. So, we have your 2 to the power of 2 minus Negative 2 to the power of 2, then raised to the power of 0. So, whenever may mga problems na ganito, na may, ang isang equation is raised to the power of 0, tandaan natin na any number or equation raised to the power of 0 is always equal to 1. So, di ba? Tricky talaga siya. But all we have to remember talaga is any number raised to the power of 0 is 1. So, since naka-open close parenthesis naman yung buong equation and raised to the power of 0, so yung magiging answer natin dito would be 1, which is letter D. That is it everyone. I hope na gabayan ko kayo sa pag-solve ng mga math problems. Ilalagay ko yung link ng parts 1 and 2 ng mock test as well as yung videos natin on percent sa description box below. And please don't forget to practice because practice makes progress. Again, thank you for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe.